This is the holy grail of any woman's wardrobe. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about blended families, fashion, beauty and lifestyle. I hope you enjoyed the consistent content like I promised and the new look of the channel. So ensure to subscribe. Any new viewer who's not subscribed, please subscribe. And the ones who have subscribed, thank you very much. In today's video, I'll be talking about the 15 fashion or essential items every woman should have in their wardrobe. start with the top so I'll start with the head I think it's important for every woman to have a very quick easy wig which you can wear on those bad days especially for women of color sometimes you've not had time to braid your hair to sexualize or moisturize so what do you do instead of getting a panic attack let's say you have a bad hair day your boyfriend your husband has come home and is like let's go to a date don't miss a chance of a life here because of a bad hair day and this is my easy to wear wig it's black in color and it's called Manjiko. all my wigs are named after my mom so it's easy to wear it's black it's a blunt cut because my face shape it goes well with short hair please when you're buying wigs consider your face shape consider also your your tone so that you get the right color and you get the right cut why do i say it's easy to wear it is because as you can see it has a natural texture to it like your natural hair and that's my most easy wig to wear and if you look at all my pictures i have this on most days so i think every woman should own a wig and before i forget to mention how cost effective a wig is it is really 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 not something that you'll regret spending your money on for example this wig is from lily hair you can google them on instagram it was 35,000 that's 50 dollars and wear it for the rest of my life. All I have to do is to launder it, maybe take it to the salon to be washed and treated and styled, but you can do it at home if you have the energy. I don't. So that's why I think every woman should own a wig. It is easy to put on, it saves you on bad hair days, and it is very cost effective. You avoid the numerous salon visits. My second essential item is a basic white tee, or others might call it if you don't wear t shirts. A classic white t-shirt this is an example of one it is not one of my favorites this is from Zara one of my favorite places to buy a white cotton shirt is Ann Taylor I had one but it got messy in the laundry so I have to replace it but also Zara can work why don't I like Zara one because it is after a few washes it becomes transparent it doesn't work for me so a good quality one is from Ann Taylor I'll also link other places you can get one and then a classic white tee which I struggle getting because they're not easy to find. I like my fitted, you can tell if you want to use loose. So you can find them from H&M, from Zara, from Uniqlo. So it's not hard to find. And as you can see, I have three white tees. Ask me why, because the fit, the problem is sometimes getting the fit. This one is from Levi. You see, it's not tight fitting, it's very square. So I want one that is form fitting for my body. And this one is from Tommy Hill Figure. And as you can see, I still have the same problem. So I'm still looking for the perfect right tee. But at least this gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. And then if you find the perfect right tee, please go ahead and get it in black, in navy blue, or in, what is that? Or in nude, because they usually come, come in handy, especially if you're wearing them with skirts or jeans. So a classic white tee or t-shirt is my second essential item. So my third item is a good fitting denim or jeans. I have here one of my favorite and I'll tell you why it's one of my favorite. I like the wash. It's a bit faded now, but I like my washes dark and uh, uniform. I don't like when we have two different tones. It's from Levi. Most of my jeans are from Levi and it's a number 710 super skinny why do i do super skinny because i have very thin ankles so that works for me and then it's it's medium waist i love them high waist but this one is medium waist so there is 710 and also 720 another thing why i like these jeans it's because of the stretch see you have to have two 
or three meter, centimeters of stretch. And lastly, it's a jeans that makes your bum look good. That is very important. So that's the third item. The fourth item is our old classic pencil skirt, which I don't have, I'm still looking for one. I used to have one from Aunt Taylor, but then when I lost weight, it became a, a bit too big. Places to look for such skirts, Aunt Taylor, Warehouse, if you are lucky enough, Zara, Karen Millen, they also have very good classic, um, good quality pencil skirts. Remember ladies, in all the essentials I'm talking about, it is key to get good quality, something will last you for many years to come. And because I don't have a pencil skirt, I'll show you an A-line skirt, which I think every woman should have. Why? Because it is very feminine and very elegant. Mine is this one, I have them in many colors as you've seen in my pictures. This is from Zara. I like the color and I like the pleats. So your A-line skirt can have pleats or have no pleats. Why do I like have mine having pleats? It's because I'm not very big down. So it gives me that volume and it balances up and down. So this is my fourth essential item. Fifth item is a classic moto leather jacket. Mine is in dark because it works in all season with everything. And you can see it's very good quality, very thick. It's from Banana Republic. Like I said, quality is key because to be honest, I have only one leather jacket. I used to have a good one which I scored on sale from Dolce & Gabbana, it got old. So I went on the lookout for this and it took me one and a half years to get it. So a classic moto jacket for that edgy fun look. Sixth item is a good black blazer. Now guys, you don't have to go and buy the most expensive. But today I have two options. One is from Zara. I've had it for a while, I think three years. As you can see, it has a very fitting silhouette because I like them that way. I'm on the lookout for a boyfriend black blazer. blazer sorry, I've been looking for it. So I'm struggling to get it. Secondly is my favorite Balmain black blazer, which like I said, if you have the money, invest in it. For me, it's an investment and I love the gold detail and everything about it. The quality, it will last me for years to come. I'm looking for a red one and a white one, so I have to save some coins. Seventh essential item in a woman's wardrobe is, I don't know if you call it a trench coat or a long coat. A trench coat or a long coat. Same here, I have two options. And why did I, did I choose this color? This is a beige or a brown color because it goes with everything. This is my kind of color. If you like brown, this would work. If you like, like black, up to you. If you like navy blue, stick to solid colors because then it will go with many things. So this is just a high street one. It's from, it's from Zara. And then I have my more high end one from Karen Millen. As you can see, it's still the same nude color trench coat which I wear during cold seasons. I'm on the lookout for a Burberry one which is very, very good and very good quality. So yes, I still need to save. But I don't think in December I have to wait for the kids to go back to school. The next item is a little black dress. In my case, it's not so little or short because I don't show too much neck. And for me, it's a forever and ever dress from Karen Millen. I think you've seen it on my page. Every woman should own a black dress which is of good quality, fits them well, and makes them look sexy. I can wear it anytime. I can wear it for a funeral, I'll just dress it down. I can wear it for dinner, I'll dress it up. I can wear it for a board meeting um, and make it official. So this is essential in every woman's wardrobe. It has a belt. The next item is white sneakers. I think every woman should own clean white sneakers. I have two here. Don't forget I have big feet so it's not easy for me to find shoes. You can get you can get Converse All Stars which I have. This is a pair of Reebok. I know they look huge like a man's shoe, yeah, that's the size of my feet. <laughs> or you could go much high end and get these are my Gucci white sneakers. Um, I'm eyeing some Chanel ones which we hope next year 2020 I'll be able to get them. So like I said, it's not about how much they cost, it's about how to make it work for you. So these are two options of white sneakers. The next item are flats. You should have a pair of comfortable flats because they're very important. Not every day with you wear heels. I'm not a heels person because I'm quite tall and also I find them 
too much work. So on most days you'll find me flat. So I have two pairs here. One is from Clarks. This is the only ballerina flats that I have that could fit me. From Clarks, you can see they are a size 42. Yeah. And then these are black loafers from Brussels and Bromley. And this works when I want to wear jeans. And this one when I want to wear a dress or a skirt, which I really do. Yeah. The next item is a pair of black heels. This is the holy grail of any woman's wardrobe. So here are mine. These are from Zara, basic ones. I am on the lookout for the Louis Vuitton's uh, Pigalle, which I'll buy next year. I hear they're comfortable. I've been avoiding to buy them because I wasn't sure they're very comfortable. For me, it's quality and comfort. That is very important for me. It's not just about spending money on a name. This is what I have for now, my go-to black heels, and they're very comfortable as much as they have this sharp heel. They're comfortable for me. I have very long pointed toes, so this works. Last but not least is a good quality belt. I'll say it again, it doesn't have to be expensive. So here I have two options. Here is a black belt with a gold detail, which I like. This is from Topshop. And my other belt, which is high end. This is a Hermes, I don't know how to say Hermes. Uh, belt which is black and brown you've seen it on my belt video which there's a link up there you can go and watch so that's my other essential item in a woman's wardrobe a good quality belt lastly a good structured bag a structured bag gives any outfit the oomph I have this is my structured bag from Saint Laurent it's black and it has some texture onto it and it's shiny and I feel this bag will give any outfit that necessary pop it doesn't have to be a designer bag. You can get a good quality leather bag from Charles Keith. You can get it from Aldo. You can get it from your local leather suppliers in your country. So a good structured bag is essential. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what are the essentials in your wardrobe. And let me know what you think in terms of quality over quantity. And what are your go-to quality shops? like? Where do you go to buy quality pencil skirts, quality dress? I'd love to learn from you. Please subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, bye-bye.